Welcome back to the channel, we are Level 1 Online, and today Snestang was updated to version 0.3. If you don't know what Snestang is, it is a Super Nintendo FPGA. It is running on the Cyp Tang Primer 25K. Make sure to check my previous video, World's Smallest FPGA Super Nintendo, for all the information on what parts you need to order from AliExpress. So one major change in this update is the integration of a menu system. Also, if you go right here to options, you can set a hotkey to exit the game and load up a new ROM while you are in a ROM without having to reset your device. Also, we get a menu right here to load ROMs from SD card, which now supports directories. I highly recommend checking out the GitHub for a full detailed list of what changes have been made. Something else that is going on is the installation process has been changed. There is now a bin file, an additional bin file that needs to be written during the writing process. And I'll go ahead and cover that in this video. So first thing we need to do is go down here to where it says assets, snestang.zip. Let's go ahead and download that. And when that opens in our downloads folder, we're going to extract here. Let's go ahead and connect our FPGA device to the computer. Let's go ahead and launch our GoWin software. Go ahead and launch the programmer. So let's go ahead and select the device. Let's hit the little pencil icon right here, configure device. External flash mode, make sure that is selected. EX flash erase program. Let's make sure that's selected. Let's go right here to file name. Hit the little three dots right here. Let's pick snestang.fs. Let's make sure everything down here says zeros let's hit save let's hit the play button right here to flash it once that finishes we're going to hit this configure device icon again we're going to now hit this button right here right here where it says fs files hit the drop down hit all files we're going to hit firmware.bin hit open and then down here in start address this second zero we're going to change that to a five go ahead and hit save now go ahead and send the flash one more time. Now you should be greeted to this screen. If you are on this screen right here and you hit the X button and it says something about error nine directory error 99 or whatever, what's going on there is that your system is not properly reading your SD micro card. Okay, so at that point, what I would recommend is trying a different card. As of right now, it seems a little finicky on what SD cards will work and which one won't. Right now, I had to switch over to a 256 gigabyte Samsung card. So we're going to load up right now Street Fighter 2 Turbo just to test. At the bottom of the screen, I think it's really interesting. It's showing you the amount of data that's being loaded. So you have, a, instead of a progress bar, you get a little bit more information as to what's going on. Round one, fight. Okay, so Street Fighter 2 is loading up just fine for me. Now, when you hit select and right bumper, here's what I've noticed. When you try and select a game, it does not function. But if I select the same game that I'm running, this will almost work in like a reset fashion. So, I don't know if maybe I'm doing something wrong, but when I try, and I'll demonstrate it right now. Okay, so here's the menu again. So if I try and load up, I don't know, like Mortal Kombat. Oh wait, now it's working. <laughs> I'm so confused. It wasn't working before. It was saying cannot load ROM. Okay, so there's Mortal Kombat 2. Okay, so let's try another game. Let's see what happens. Let's try, I don't know, Super Mario World. Okay. Functionality seems to be working.
I wish I could recreate what happened just to show you guys. I don't know if if it keeps happening, just keep heading select and RB and keep trying over and over again. And if it freezes up or if you get a black screen, just try and load up the same game you were using before, okay? Anyways, I look forward to many more updates from this developer. I'm going to keep tinkering with this. You guys have a good one. We are level 1 online. Once again, all the links will be in the description below on how to purchase this. Very excited for this project. Make sure to follow Nan2Mario on Twitter. You guys take care. Bye.